we heard from patron David who asked about barrel length and velocities. Specifically, this was his question. This is kind of an academic question which may not have an answer and it isn't terribly useful. I was thinking about it after you mentioned on a podcast that you gain, I think, 35 feet per second per inch of barrel length. What would be the maximum length where this would be true? I assume at some point you run into diminishing returns. You gain feet per second up to, say, 200 inches, but at 201, you start to lose feet per second? Thanks a lot for all you do. I appreciate your highly informative work. Well, thanks so much for that fine compliment, David, and a great question. And uh, especially thanks for uh, supporting us through Patreon. We really appreciate that. So if anyone of you would like to help us out and join our Patreon community, just go to patreon.com, Ron Spomer Outdoors, and all the instructions are there for you to join us. We sure love to have you. Now, to answer David's question, I wrote him back and I said, well, as you might imagine, David, there's no absolute answer due to the differences in the cartridge, the bullets, the barrel diameters, etc. But in general, the distance your barrel can be stretched is much longer than you might think. Some extreme range shooters have tested barrels around 40 inches long and they were gaining, still gaining, muzzle velocity at that length, 40 inches of barrel. So I don't know which cartridge they were using. Now I have read that the 22 long rifle pretty much optimized in 16 and a half inches of barrel. After that, the friction on the bar- uh, the bullet in the barrel starts to degrade its velocity, as you suggested with your 200 to 201 inch barrel. But with center fires and big powder. Uh, volumes behind that bullet who knows but you can easily go 38 40 inches and still be picking up velocity with some of those but it really doesn't much matter um, because who's going to drag one of those barrels around it is an academic question um, as you said so I think for practical reasons in the field especially for hunting rifles Uh, The reason that most of them are at somewhere between 22 and 26 inches is just that they're too cumbersome after that to really be effective in the field. You don't want to drag them around. They're hard to get in in and out of a scabbard, in and out of a vehicle. And they're even hard to carry around in the woods. Now, the barrel sticks up if you've got it slung on your shoulder and hits branches. And I've even been in rocky cliff country when the rifle barrel was literally hitting the edges of the cliff I was walking along and could potentially knock your balance you could go over the edge it's seriously <laughs> not a lot of people to hunt in those places but sheep and mountain goat hunters and ibex hunters certainly do so yeah you're you're looking at oh i think it it's worth your while to consider with a magnum cartridge especially adding a couple of inches of barrel if you really want to maximize your velocity but do keep in mind that you're probably only going to gain Oh, 100 feet per second with a couple of inches of barrel at most. And does that really matter all that much to you? You know, it might, but um, it's something to consider. But I don't think too many of you are going to be <laughs> carrying a 40-inch barrel in the field. <laughs> the Daniel Boone days are kind of behind us. All right. Thanks for that, David. 